Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay, and, and we, we are, are Paro DJ. DJ. We are in Orlando today. It's morning, so we're being quiet. quiet. But we are staying at Dockside Inn and Suites, which is part of Universal Orlando's resort complex. Really like it. Very nice, has something for everybody. Huge complex. Yeah. yeah, we recorded a little bit of a room tour and stuff like that mm -hmm. yesterday when we got here, but we'll worry with that later. Right now, we're getting ready to hop over to some parks. Because we have the early admission by staying Ooh. here. You get to go an hour early to whichever one they're offering that day. Yeah, so our choices were Volcano Bay mm -hmm. or Islands of Adventure. We're just doing Islands of Adventure and, you know, Universal today. It's also 55 degrees outside currently. Oh, shoot, no volcanoes for <laughs> no. us. But we're gonna go hop on the shuttle. We're staying in Tower 2, so we have to hike over mm -hmm to tower one and catch the shuttle bus. Yeah, and they come every 10 to 15 minutes. True. Nice. Hop to Islands of Adventure. So we're we're just gonna have a nice, so we've vlogged Universal before, mm -hmm. so this is not like an intensive, you know, plus a lot of rides you can't take cameras you on. So we're just gonna have a nice leisurely day. We're gonna do both parks, hop back and forth. We've Hopefully never done that. we never rode the train before. Maybe see some shows because it's oh. the holiday season, so they've got lots of cool shows and a parade. Cool stuff. It's exciting. Oh yeah. Alright, well anyway, let's go. Right. Universal time. Tower two lobby. It's just a long hallway. I feel like Maxwell Smart or something in here. I just need a bunch of doors that open and close for me. We got the Universal Studio store, the little restaurant over there where we ate dinner last night, a Starbucks, Christmas trees. But just outside the front door to the lobby, we should find the shuttle buses. Oh, we got like a little map of the property. Nice. Okay, no bay, Islands of Adventure, Universal Studios. Up, oh, we're right down here, so super close. Oh, we get to ride this crazy Slinky Dog double decker bus. Slinky Dog is off brand, that's not Universal. Look at them foggy glasses. We're not going to have much in the way of shuttle footage because I can't see out the window, so hey. Wow. We have made it. Look at all this beautiful, beautiful. Now they're doing some construction. it past the security checkpoint and the x-ray stuff stuff so here we go to the walkway I like this thing so this is the power walk at City Walk that's a lot of walking but I can deal with it oh, there's that mini golf course it's all coming back to me now all right first stop for us even though there was one in the resort Starbucks this one looks a lot less crowded than the one at the resort was we haven't even made it into the park yet. We found our first attraction. Oh yeah. Gosh, this is just gonna be a day full of foggy glasses, but you know what? It's worth it. Oh no, just spell out the word water. You open yourself up to fewer jokes if you just spell water. But I mean, it's festive, like Santa Claus. Ho, 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 have some water. <laughs> Maybe they did it on purpose. Could be. So we'll catch up on the guidelines while we're standing in line. So the latest update is that they encourage guests to wear masks indoors and they are not required outdoors. So D got, what is that? The vanilla sweet cream cold brew foam thing. I got the pumpkin version. Yeah, yours got shaken. Mine got, you know, not. Gravity's doing its work on mine. Ooh, little sandwich. Little sandwich. One of their holiday cranberry bars. And we're just gonna sit here and watch the folks stream into the park. Because we're in extra chill hour. mode. That's right. This is the extra hour this morning. Park opens in about open for like 20 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Merry Grinchmas. Now we're going to wander on and get our Universal on. Cowfish. Oh, she was trying to remember the name of this restaurant. Okay. Oh, cow yeah, you called it the cow sushi or something. Cowfish. <laughs> Cowfish. Okay. Too far off. Well, we're not going there right now, but hey. <laughs> Welcome to Islands of Adventure. 27 years later, we've made it into the park. Yes. We grabbed a guide map from the little rack there. That'll help. We have the app, but I do like the map. They're blaring rock and roll Christmas music. I like it. Yeah. It's Christmas at Seuss Landing. There's just going to be so much cute stuff today. Dr. Seuss Land does not appear to be open yet. I guess maybe early admission is only certain areas of the park, but hey, we're just gonna walk around till we see some stuff that's open. Ooh. Good morning, Griffin. I think that's a Griffin. Poseidon's Fury. I believe Poseidon's Fury is actually closed currently. Welcome to Hogsmeade. We'll be riding the train later. You're a wizard, Harry. 
105 minute wait on Hagrid's Magical Creatures. Okay, I see, I see <laughs> where the popular stuff is. Yeah, I think that's the new little motorcycle ride. That used to be the Dueling Dragons, right? The little coaster Thanks. thing, anyway. There's our little performance stage, but that stuff doesn't start till 10, 30, or 11. What do we have, a 15 minute wait on whatever the heck is up here. There's a little flight of the hippogriff that says ride now, so there's no wait on that one. We're going to continue our wander and see what else is open up here. Oh, I hear Jurassic Park music. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. Welcome to Jurassic Pop. Okay, fine. 20 minutes on the Velocicoasters. We're not in coaster mode today, but we're just, you know, we're documenting. Look at that sucker, I know. <laughs> Velocicoaster. Oh, oh, there they go. Oh, wow. What's the velocity on that bad boy? It's one of those weird Jurassic Park meets Harry Potter. It's one of those weird movie crossovers you never expected. <laughs> and never needed, really. Yeah. Dinosaurs take over hope. And eat all the children's. Oh. Well, just the Slytherins. They can eat all the Slytherins. That's fine. <laughs> Nobody needs Slytherins anyway. <laughs> yeah, we can sit here and look at fish and listen to the screaming, screaming people. <laughs> oh, you should not lean against that. Oh, no. You, oh, you wetted your pants by leaning against the rail. Don't wet your pants. All right, we just realized we were getting ready to head back over toward like the, uh, I don't know what it is, the Sinbad and all that stuff. So we're gonna, oh, gracious, we're gonna go see if we can find the rest of Jurassic Park. We accidentally left Jurassic Park. Normally that's the goal, but not for us right now. That's why I got confused. I don't think you can go that way yet because this doesn't open until nine o'clock. Okay. So it is 8.41 in the a.m. And so I guess basically what they open is Harry Potter and then the Velocicoaster and then at nine o'clock the rest of the stuff's open. So we're gonna hang out here until we can access the rest of Jurassic Park. Hopefully no dinosaurs come get us. The gates to the park have opened. Raptor encounter. <laughs> That seems incredibly, that yeah, that's like an insurance liability right there. <laughs> Opens at nine, so it's not quite nine yet. Oh, I see the Jurassic water ride up there. Hope you're gonna go to the club. Oh, they got rock climbing. That's good for, you know, having to evade dinosaurs. So $15, you can learn to climb rocks and hide from velociraptors and things. Nice. Ooh, we're gonna see if we can watch a car come down the old Jurassic water redo. Hopefully we're not in the actual splash zone. Looks like you can definitely get wet up here along this fence. Oh. There they are. Whoa. Yeah, it is far too cold to do that. Oh, that gentleman. One brave gentleman on the ride. I think he's testing it. Ah, uh, could be. All right, that's gotta be a, an employee or a team member. That yeah. makes sense. Oh, the sun. He was testing the seats and stuff. So. Yeah. That's a cool job. <laughs> ah, well, he's, he's not happy. Skull Island, Reign of Kong. I remember we rode this one before. Maybe we'll do this. Let's do it. Hey, we're gonna ride a ride. So we did this about three years ago. He said the only difference is that these scare actors are no longer in the line. Cause I remember they would jump out and scare the poop out of you. Oh gosh. Yeah, they used to jump out of things like that and spook the mess out of you. I'm all masked up because this is considered an interior ride. Let's grab a goggle. I can't wait to tell them about this place. Just the locals, folks. Nothing to worry about. He's my friend, he saved our life. He's my BFF. Yeah, he spit on us a couple of times. Smoking. Right, I think we're coming up here now to like the classic cartoon type zone, if memory serves. Toon Lagoon, that's what it's called, yes. So I guess we can watch the, is it the Bilge Racers? Bilge Rat Racers or Popeye, Popeye thing. Kind of like blue or okay. Yeah, it's a little chilly for a water ride today, but lots of empty cars going by. Yep, nobody on that one. 
Popeye and Bluto's bilge wrap barges. I was all over it, but I didn't quite get there. This is super cute over here. You got like Wimpy's Burgers over there. All the classic comic strips that I grew up with. Oh my gosh. There's Popeye, Blondies. I'm going down memory lane here. Beetle Bailey. Every Sunday morning, I would go grab the comics, the funny pages, as it were, and that's just how I entertained myself when I was a kid. I read most of them. I like them. <laughs> well, there's all kinds of dangerous water features. D almost just got dripped on by a cloud. <laughs> oh my. Holy moly, speaking of dangers, <laughs> get back. Ooh, wander into the shop. Oh my gosh, I can actually give Betty a boop. Boop! Is that inappropriate? <laughs> Who knows? Hagar the Horrible. See? Classic. Classic. It's a military one. Beetle Bailey, probably. Beetle. Yep. Oh, I can get a free wand if I spend, well, $295. Okay. I can go buy one. That's true. Far less. Well, barely for $55, because that's the value of your wand. Oh, don't tempt me with the pins. Okay. Well, you probably just want one that's just like universal. That's true. I'm not, I don't really want a minion or a SpongeBob necessarily. They have any Oh, see, here's like, you know, actually. Islands of Adventure, yes. Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> nice, that was the most subdued Woody Woodpecker right ever. <laughs> oh yeah, that's totally you. That's you. Yeah, they got like, what is this, classic merch? Oh man, throwback. That's how I Oh, you can sit in there and play with a turtle and get sprayed in the Sounds leg. Terrible. No, no. Yeah. Cute, We're over here at this little arcade area now. Oh gosh, they have burnt Stay Puft Marshmallow Man or Happy Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. But there's a Bob Ross back there. Look at that top row. Oh, superhero. This is super over here. Ooh, let's ride another ride, shall we? Oh, it's a busy news day here at the Bugle. Uh, their safety video said no photography and no videotaping. So even though we don't use tape, no recording. We did it. We saved the Statue of Liberty. We're so accomplished. Ooh, there's Dr. Doom. We're just doing the non-scary rides today. <laughs> yeah. Well, right here next to Hulk is Storm Force Accelitron, which looks like a fancy teacup ride. Are you ready to take a spin? <laughs> Always. I love these kind of rides. I know. Ooh, I did it. Even with all these legs I got. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Secure your belongings, ma'am. I know. Well, I don't want to squish it, so I'll just put it in my leg. Hopefully. These pants are super slippery. Yeah, you'll be sliding. Every ride I've been in today, I'm like all over the place. <laughs> but they're fun. Ma'am, the ride hasn't even started yet, and you are whizzing us. I'm not going to show too much because um, folks will get oh, dizzy. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Folks will get very dizzy. It's a spin. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay. I'm not going to. Well, we'll see how much I record on here. I've got the wrist strap on, so. Well, he said to rotate it as fast as you can in order for us to win, so. Uh, uh oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. So side note, don't record on that ride. He originally said as long as you're holding your camera, but then he's like, put your camera away. So no recording on the actual ride. Good deal. Well, we've officially found the entrance again, so we've made one complete lap of Islands of Adventure. Seuss Landing is officially open now, whereas it was not this morning. Whoop, whoop. Hats and stuff and things. And the cat in the hat. This is a thrill ride right here, I tell ya. We're entering a world of magic and mystery. Oh, no videotaping. And welcome to the gift shop. All right, there's the Grinchmas show. 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. I would recommend you get 10, 45, 11-ish. Whoa, did you hear that? That was Horton. <laughs> so they suggested being at least a half an hour early for Grinchmas. That gives us time to come ride this little train up here, though. The high in the sky Seuss Trolley Train Ride. I never Oh, 40 minute wait on the train ride. We, maybe we'll do that after the show. The 
doors have just opened for the 1130 show. Let's see what time it is. 1040. All righty. Well, we're getting in because we're within the first like eight people. <laughs> Well, I feel like we've left the park. <laughs> what do they do with these like sound stagey looking buildings when they're not doing the hula day spectacular, I wonder? Now we're gonna line up over here. <laughs> All right, it's about 11.15, we're headed in. Well, it's super cute in here. Very, um, purple. <laughs> the holidays are about sharing with others, so we invite you to take plenty of photographs to share the memories with family and friends. Inside a snowflake, like the one on your sleeve, there happened a story you must see to believe. staring down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the warm, lighted windows below in their town. Where are you, Christmas? Why can't I find you? And he chuckled and clucked. What a great, grinchy trick. With this coat and this hat, all look just like St. Nick. Oh no, I'm speaking in rhymes! You're a bad banana with a greasy black seal. <laughs> Why? Why are you taking our Christmas tree? Awkward. Oh, oh, what is my sweet little Todd? The fake <laughs> Santa Claus lie. No, you are not helping. <laughs> <laughs> Why, there is a light on this tree. It's a long light on one side. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. Your hand. It's so... High now. Hell. No. Greasy, oily, what do I have a wart? How embarrassing! <laughs> no! It's... Did your heart grow 19 sizes? It's already big. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that was cool. Oh, they're doing the green eggs and ham they show, I think. Whoa, we came back over to check the little train in the sky. Well, we might end up skipping that today. Well, since it's after 12 o'clock, I think we're going to grab a little bit of a snack. Yeah, we got a popcorn bucket, a couple of bottles of water, a pretzel with cheese. That'll hold us over until lunch. <laughs> Now we're going to do something we didn't get to do last time, which is come on, ride the train, because we've got the hopper pass. We just had to show our passes to prove that we do have access to the other park, and we're good to go. Oh, I got tricked into exercise again. No video recording or flash photography, it says. Yeah, we can record the train, but I guess you can't record on the train. They might have changed some rules recently. I know last time we were here, I think it was 2018, and you could record on a lot more rides. And we've seen videos on the rides, but I think they've been starting to institute more and more no video policies. So I guess we'll see you in um, King's Cross. Yeah. Welcome to King's Cross. Yeah, that was a remarkably smooth ride. I think the ride back over to uh, the other park is the cooler of the two rides. <laughs> Well, here we are in the middle of London then. Hmm, whatever shall we do? Let's see what's around this mysterious corner. Oh my goodness! I want to be where the people are. Found them. Let's see if we have a nice meal here at the Leaky Cauldron. Gosh, I should just have a grab-and-go section right there. 
Tina and pick a popular lunch option, but we knew that. We knew that. <laughs> We're almost there. So you come place your order in a walk-up window, and then you locate a table, and they bring you your food. There is our menu with little descriptions of the food and whatnot. Oh, they got all those cute little draft taps down there. Pumpkin juice, butterbeer. And they do help you find a table, which is always appreciated. <laughs> we are order number four. Like I said, I may have said, I don't remember, that they will bring us our food. We each got a frozen butterbeer and a glass of water. Yes, non-alcoholic, but sweet, sweet. I don't know that I can get a whole cup of that. Uh-oh. Maybe we should have got you a pumpkin juice. We should have Oh, well. Like butterscotch in liquid form. Butterscotch like, heaven. Butterscotch and liquid. <laughs> anyway. Dee has gone with the fish and chips. Very yeah. nice. I decided to go with the Guinness stew in a bread bowl, and it came with a little side salad, but of course I ruined it by requesting blue cheese. Oh, healthy. I ruined the healthy salad value of it. <laughs> We are fueled back up and ready to wander through all the people and see all the things. Oh. We've got Nocturne Alley back there. We came up here so we could visit the clubs. Here's our friendly dragon. here now it's almost time for Celestina Warbeck and the Banshees to do a little tune crooning so we'll hang out for a few minutes of that. Oh it started snowing and everything. <laughs> Pidgey that was a cute show. Pidgey liked the singing show. We hung out for a couple of songs, but we're gonna go get some rides on again, I think. Welcome back to London. 